Dr. Wolfenstein here and tonight I bring to you a very spooky type recipe. Tonight I have something for you I think you'll really want to sink your teeth into. Tonight I'm going to show you how to make my spooktacular fudgy bites. So let's get started. What you will need is an 8x8 baking dish and you will take all your ingredients and you shall blend them up to form your fudgy bite batter. So what you shall use in here, of course, is MTS Nutrition Chocolate Protein. You shall use one and a half scoops of that protein. You shall mix it with a half a cup of oats, a couple of tablespoons of sweetener of your desire, you shall use two egg whites, one fourth a cup of milk of your choice, one half a cup of my favorite to make it all fudgy, unsweetened cocoa, and you will use a yogurt of your choice, one half cup. Now to also sweeten it up and get it nice and syrupy, we shall use some maple syrup, one half cup. And you will use some baking powder to make it rise, one teaspoon. You shall take all those ingredients, blend them up, and then we will go ahead and pour our ingredients into our pan with some non-stick cookies. You will want to preheat your oven during this time to 300 and 50 degrees. So we shall pour our batter into our pan. Now you'll notice when you pour your batter into your pan, it will be a little bit drippy, if you will. But drippy is the way I like it. Okay. So next, we are going to make the spooky part that we are going to swirl into our fudgy bites. For the spooky part of the batter, you shall need one fourth cup of pumpkin, two tablespoons softened fat-free cream cheese, one yolk, and you will add some seasoning including cinnamon and nutmeg. You will take that spooky batter and you will beat it. You will continue to beat it until it no longer needs to be beat, you know what I'm saying. So once you have that spooky butter, we shall take it drop by drop into our brownie batter by the spoonful. It's okay if it gets a little bit messy. Once you drop all your spooky butter, into your brownies, you should take a butter knife and run it through your brownies, creating that spooky swirling effect that we all desire. Once you have done that, that concludes the preparation for our spooky fudgy bites. I shall put this in the oven to roast for 20 to 20 minutes, and I will see you then. Welcome back. After 22 minutes, our spooky fudgy bites have come fresh out of the oven and ready for you to take a nibble of. I think you're going to enjoy these. This recipe makes 12 spooky fudgy bites. And as you can see, they are spooky and fudgy and delicious treats. Please share them with your friends and others, if you dare to. I hope you enjoy this recipe, and don't forget to go to tigerfitness.com to get all your MTS nutrition needs. The link will be in my description below. I wish you all a happy Halloween, and Dr. Wolfenstein will be back to see you.